Hi guys, it is me, it is I, Kamaria Hair, back at it again with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be doing a updated what's on my iPhone 8 Plus. It's been a whole entire year since I've had this phone. It recently cracked when I was crossing the street and I wanted to beat traffic. So I ran across the street and the pocket I had it in the back of was not as secure as I thought it was and my phone went floop ran into the street probably one car at least ran over it so like that didn't help my situation either and i was like wow see all because i just wanted to run across the street beat this traffic i could have waited to cross the street and i had a screen protector on there and the screen protector basically did nothing and this is what my screen looks like right now hey eh. yay we're starting with my lock screen my lock screen is just a picture of me and my boyfriend tee hee hee um shout out to him so when you first open my home screen you have tiktok if you want to follow me on tiktok my tiktok is at kamaria hair yeah i post a lot of content and then i have instagram if you want to follow me on instagram my instagram is at kamaria constantly losing followers so i love that for me and then i have snapchat if you want to add me on snapchat my snapchat is at kamaria hair Ooh, i'd look better with a filter on A little distracted there not gonna lie but yeah if you want to add me on snapchat my snapchat is also at kamaria hair then we have youtube which you're watching me on right now say cheese then we have finance folder and in my finance folder i just have my bank my paypal account my cash app and my sweat coin you're not gonna get paid for walking just hear me out then we have Messenger and Facebook, which those are personal, so don't ever add me. I have a Facebook page for you guys to like follow, but I don't have a, my personal Facebook. It's my personal Facebook, so don't, don't you try it. Don't you try it. Don't add me. Don't look. Don't even try to search. Don't, don't do it. Then we have photos, cooking craze, and then we have education, which, um, I thought I would have to undownload this, but I'm actually taking summer online school, so like I still need Quizlet and Translate, and actually I don't need all of these apps, just mostly Quizlet is what I use for my online school. Shh, don't you tell nobody. So yeah, I use Quizlet, I have Mathway, which is to like help with math, Quizlet, to like basically anything to be honest, Translate, Slides, Docs, Google Docs, Khan Academy student view which is just to check my grades then i have wordscapes which is another like well another game app you just like search words not search words it's basically like a crossword puzzle but you have to figure out what the words are on the crossword puzzle by using the words that you i don't even know if i can explain that correctly okay then i have shop and in my shopping app i have mostly like food delivery apps and then i have like target and walgreens Okay, so I have Postmates, Walgreens because I live near Walgreens, Walmart because I'm always at Walmart, and I also, i rather order on Walmart than like actually go to Walmart, even though I still live close to Walmart. Uber, Uber, Uber Eats, Alta Beauty, Target, Fashion Nova, I honestly don't even open the Fashion Nova app anymore, like, I don't even know what happened. Rev and Hub, Amazon, DoorDash, and then CVS. Next I have Google Keep, it's basically like a task maker and I used to be really good at like making like to-do lists and stuff. Now I don't do them as often and if I do do them, I don't follow them. Then I have Clue. Clue is a menstrual tracking app. Period. Tracking app. Period. Um, so yeah, that is just to track that and then we have photos and video and in here i have photo grid and video star imovie vseo video star and imovie are the two apps i edit on i usually just stick to imovie but i recently started like doing like edit edits on my videos so then i use video star if i wanted to go a little crazy go a little cuckoo add little transitions and all that type of stuff facetune polar or polar i don't know how to pronounce it but that's also a bunch of like filters and I edit some of my um, thumbnails on there. I love that app. Then we have Groovo, Dub Smash. Actually, I don't even use Groovo. I don't even know how I have Groovo. Studio. And then I think that's it for that folder. Then we have My Verizon, which is just to pay my phone bill, of course. Safari, YouTube Studio, which is just to check my analytics. It is basically a YouTube tool. If you're a YouTuber, new YouTuber, I recommend using it. You can track like 
what are people searching on your channel, what is videos doing well, which has the most watch time, just all that type of stuff. And you can change the thumbnail also from your phone. Then I have App Store, Uber, useful apps, and these are just mm, apps that come with the phone basically. Chrome, Yelp. So useful apps is basically just apps that come with the phone. Chrome, I just recently downloaded Chrome. Yelp, to like get reviews and like see what's the best restaurant. I don't use it that often, but like when I get my nails done or my toes done or my eyebrows done, which I haven't got my eyebrows done yet, but I wanna do that. Then we have Clog, um, and then I have a like bookmark to my channel to see my live subscriber count. And right now we're at 3,655. Then I have extras, which is just basically extra apps, maps, FaceTime, Tumblr. We have Solitary, Luxnor, which is like another shopping, like it's just shopping website. And I just wanted to have a bookmark because I'll eventually want to buy from there, but I haven't bought from there yet. I just wanted to have the bookmark so that I could go back actually, yeah. Then I have Health and there I have another create tracker app then we have sleep cycle which is just to track how you sleep it tracks like your movement and i think noise you make and like when you seem like you're awake or when you seem like you're asleep basically it just tracks your sleep in a way then we have famous birthdays and i don't even know i have this app i just want to check sometimes like people's birthdays and like status i guess in a way status and info and stuff then we have Shazam, which is basically to, to like find music. Bam. Then we have photos and video, and there I have Huji, Glitch Art, Rad VHS, Funny Mate, Pixar. Oh, and also like the little, the little cloud thing means they're not on my phone, like downloaded, but they're like on my phone for me to just like click on them and re-download them, which is honestly the best idea Apple probably has had. Um, so like you can save storage like if you're not using the app for a while or if you just need the app sometimes you can just re-download it and save storage, you know? Then I have photos and other photo and videos. So I have so much photo and video stuff. Then we have noise in 1967, whatever that's. I think 1967 is like for like, like retro, vintage filters basically. Then I have Twitter, sitting, setting, setting, Facebook, social, I have Facebook. A Facebook creator Facebook page and I do have a Facebook page like Facebook page like for you guys to actually go follow and stuff um but it's not like to my liking yet and I don't know how to do all that stuff so like I'll have to work on that then I have countdown event tracker these are just to track things games bit life forever 21 insta clean countdown I have like three countdown at then on my next page, I have games, a folder for games. I have Uno, Friends, Words 2, Pinterest, Family Dollar, Shein, AliExpress, Depop. Depop is like a shopping app for like, I don't know, like cool little shops. Then I have XVPN, which is great for like school if you have school and like they block a lot of websites and apps also, they block them. So like you can use that to like unblock everything you can just use your your phone regular regular regularly then we have tube buddy oh this is basically like another like app to like improve how you post your videos your youtube videos um honestly i don't recommend it like unless you get the upgraded version which i'm not trying to pay money so like honestly it's i don't even know why i have it then we have seven shifts which is just basically for my work shifts because you go just recently got a job so yeah that is to like see my shifts when is my shifts and all that like you know know when i work how much i'm getting paid and what's whatever um and then i have group me which is my works group chat that is all that is on my iphone i hope you guys enjoyed this updated what's on my iphone if you guys did enjoy please leave a thumbs up make sure to subscribe my summer uploading schedule is monday tuesday friday i'm gonna try my best to upload monday tuesday and friday all right without further ado i'll see you guys in my next video if you guys decide to come back to my channel peace out hi guys what is up it is me hi guys it is me it is i it is i <laughs> hi guys what is up it Hi guys, it is me, it is I, Kamaria Hair. Hi guys, it is me, it is... Hi guys. Which is just 
my only game on my phone and it's not it's out it's outdated isn't it i think it's outdated because i literally check okay like can you stop it's kind of rude i do not recommend dying dying i do not recommend downloading sweatcoin it's honestly kind of like a scam but sweatcoin if you want to give me money is 250 dollars like you give everybody else for posting you guys i'm down but i'll be like small disclaimer this will not actually make you money. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. We probably won't work with Sweatcoin because Sweatcoin, you are a scam. Um, so yeah, that's why I have the Yelp app. And also for like piercings and stuff, because I have my nose pierced, I was like, I gotta go to the best piercer in town, which actually I don't even know if they were the best piercer in town, but I feel comfortable in there. If you guys haven't seen my nose piercing, always plug the link down below. I can't believe I've been filming for 17 minutes, y'all. 17 minutes all about what's on my iPhone. 17 minutes of what's on my iPhone. Obviously, you guys aren't going to see this whole 17 minutes. There's going to probably be a lot of editing. 